Hello YouTube, Joe here from Show to Speak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling faces again here on YouTube. As you may have already heard, Nikon Rumors is reporting the possibility of two new Nikon cameras to be announced possibly in late October. Now this could coincide with the Photo Plus Expo, which is held in New York City right around that time each year. These cameras are rumored to be the Z6S and Z7S, and although the exact specs are unknown at this time, here is what we do know. But before we get started, um, let me just ask you to do me a small favor. If anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting the subscribe button, ring the bell so you get notified of new and future updates, hit the like button, and feel free to leave me a comment because I do try and answer as many comments uh, as I possibly can. So, traditionally, when Nikon has released a camera with an S in the name, it's usually an incremental update. And that's what I'm assuming is going to be the case with these new cameras. Um, the same sensor as in the Nikon Z6 and Z7 is rumored for these cameras, but it has the S designation. So, with the S designation, typically we will see a small improvement in image quality. Uh, when we uh, when we do see an S series camera. So we're expecting 4K video at 60 frames per second, dual memory card slots, probably CF Express or possibly one CF with an SD card slot combo, a dual X speed processor, probably to handle the video or write to the dual cards. Um, a new battery, the Nikon EN EL15C battery. Um, that's already a patent uh, listed for that online. With this new battery, we are believing that there's going to be USB power that can actually power the battery, um, power the camera with the battery attached. There's going to be an optional vertical grip with buttons, controls, and again, that's an optional accessory. And that's something, of course, pros were clamoring for was that grip um, with buttons and controls. Uh, that's all we know for now, and of course as new information becomes available, I'll let you know. But that's not all the news there is from Nikon. Um, of course, there's still the Nikon Z8 or Z9 camera that's hanging out there. Uh, that's uh, a new camera that's rumored to be a 60 megapixel camera, mirrorless camera, that is able to shoot full frame images at 14 frames per second with the mechanical shutter. Okay, next. Uh, is some updated information on the rumored Z5 camera. Okay, uh, with this new Z5, well, we've already reported some of this, but I'll just touch base on some of the info, and there's some new info in here as well. The Z5 will have the same EVF as the Z6. There's going to be no top panel LCD, making it smaller than the Z6. The mode dial is going to be moved to the top where the LCD panel was on the new Z, uh, Z5. Dual SD UHS-2 memory card slots, 24 megapixel full frame sensor. We're not sure if it's a BSI sensor or not at this point. Uh, there is going to be IBIS, magnesium alloy camera body. New battery, again, it's the Nikon EN EL15C. And again, that's a battery that we believe will allow you to USB power the camera with the battery attached. The same battery that's expected to be in the Z6S and the Z7S. Same autofocus system as in the Z6. Um, 1.7 time video crop in 4K, no slow motion option, six frame per second burst. And could be announced later in July. I'm guessing July 21st, by the way. Uh, the camera will start shipping sometime in 2020, but we don't know when. And as you know, due to COVID worldwide, it's really hard to say. As for the price, now, I would expect it to be more than the Z50, which comes in right about $860 right now, and less than the Z6, which comes in at about $1,800 right now. So right in the middle there, maybe twelve to $1,400. Um, with the uh, new Z5, we are hearing that there's going to be a new lens, the Nikkor Z24-50 to f4, to f6.3 kit lens, which I'm a little confused about. Personally, for me, on a full frame camera, and I'm paying that kind of money, I would want to have that 24 to 70 f4 
lens, which everybody loves. Lightweight, good, solid lens, and great image quality. I'm not so sure about this new lens. I'm not sure, sure how I feel about it, but hey, let's wait and see uh, and see what the specs play out to be. Uh, speaking of new lenses, there are some, uh, some information on some new lenses uh, upcoming as well. There are also some updates on uh, lens releases that uh, we are now hearing, and the following lenses are gonna be released from Nikon in the near future. The Nikkor Z series 50 millimeter F 1.2 S lens, uh, similar in size to the Nikkor Z 24 to 70 F 2.8 lens, and this 50 millimeter F 1.2 lens may also have the knocked designation added to it. Uh, we're also expecting the release of the Nikkor Z 14 to 24 f 2.8 S lens, smaller and lighter than the F mount version, can handle screw in filters, but it does have a whopping 105 millimeter filter thread. Uh, that's to be rumored as of right now. Uh, it's not confirmed, but there is a rumor of a July 21st release date for that. And that's why I'm thinking you'll see the Z5 released on that same day. Uh, finally, there are some rumors of a Nikon Z teleconverter for the S-series lenses on the horizon. We're looking at a Nikkor Z 1.4 uh, times and a 2 times teleconverter. Uh, these both have been rumored. Uh, and that's really about it for now in terms of what we know. But once again, I'd like to thank you for watching and I'd like to know your thoughts um, I, to me, I feel like with the release of the Nikon 14 to 30 millimeter f uh, 4.0 lens at a pretty decent price point, um, this new f uh, 2.8 14 to 24 millimeter lens, which I'm expecting to be probably at least a thousand dollars more, might be a little bit of a tough sell for Nikon. Um, let me know what your thoughts are. Again, we have that 14 to 30 already, and it's lighter, it's smaller, it's compact and probably at least $1,000 cheaper. Would you switch for one stop of light? I don't know. I mean, unless you're doing astrophotography, it might be a little bit of a tough sell. The same as it's a tough sell sometimes for people who already have that uh, 24 to 70 f4.0 lens. Again, is that a lens that you're gonna put away in your bag and grab an f2.8 for that one extra stop of light? I don't know. Um, to me, maybe the strategy of releasing these cheaper, more affordable lenses um, you know, how that plays out for Nikon in the long run, I'm not so sure. But leave me a comment and let me know. Would you switch from your 14 to 30 f4 to this new 2.8? Would you skip the 2.8 altogether and purchase a, the uh, f4 if you didn't already have one? Let me know your thoughts. Anyway, hey, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time. If anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting like, uh, subscribe, Ring the bell so you get notified of future updates and future videos, and uh, leave me a comment because I will try and answer all the comments. So, thanks again for watching YouTube, and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.